हे गाइज वेलकम बैक टू योर डेटा विद डोमिनिक एंड स्पेसिफिकली आप पाई स्पार्क सीरीज एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो वे गुड बी लुकिंग एट द स्ट्रक टाइप एंड स्ट्रक फील्ड क्लासेज इन पाई स्पार्क सो लेट्स डाइव राइड इन सो बेसिकली द पाई स्पार्क स्ट्रक टाइप एंड स्ट्रक फील्ड आर क्लासेज विच वी कैन यूज टू स्पेसिफाई द स्कीमा फॉर अ डेटा फ्रेम एंड वी कैन यूज इट टू बेसिकली सेट द डेटा टाइप्स एंड ऑल्सो यूज इट टू क्रिएट कॉम्प्लेक्स a uh, nested structures in arrays and map columns uh within data frames so it's quite a powerful uh a uh, functionality that is available to us and just the difference between struct type and struct fields is struct type sort of uh contains the whole schema and so it is made up of a collection of struct fields so if you think about it as a table struct type is basically the table schema struct type will hold the table schema as a sort of array of struct fields which would be the columns of fields in your table so that's how they work let's dive into the demo it will become clear to you once we dive into the demo so i've got my uh, databricks community edition set up here and what we can do basically is that in the first cell what i've done is i've just created an uh, array of tuples a list of tuples and we've created very basic just an a uh, serial number a name and an age and i'm using the spark.create data frame to use this uh, list variable to create a data frame and then i'm showing that variable so let's see what that resulted in so we got this very basic data frame what we expected but when we look at um, the schema of that data frame we can see that they are all being uh, categorized with the wrong data types which might not be necessary like we're using long here we know long is not required for age um in this universe at least but yeah that's what it is so we want to get some more uh when we want to get some more sort of a control over how the schema works for our data frames that's when we go in with this uh, struct type and struct schema basically what i've done in the next one is i've just shown you how very simple schemas can be done and these schemas are just used for setting the column names so you create one uh, list variable which holds your tuples which will become the data frame data and then i've created a schema variable which is just a list of strings which will hold the column headers or column names and i'm creating data frame 2 or df2 from this data variable this list of tuples and also the schema and then when we show that you can see that we've got the column names added to our data frame and again same issue with uh not the best data types for the particular use case so that brings us to the struct type and struct field and now this basically to use this we need to import um from pyspark.sql.types just import everything you can specify struct type and struct field but it's better just to import stuff Uh, so you get everything in there and there's no chances for any bugs later on but yeah so again we're creating the same list of tuples with the same data but here what we're doing is when we're creating the schema previously what we had done is we had just done it as a list of strings which just gave us column name uh that the power to set the column names but now when we use the struct type and struct field what we can do is we can set the name of the column and then we can set the data type as well all right so how it works is you equate it to a any variable which is going to hold the struct type class and uh so we set uh we assign struct type open brackets then we open square brackets because it's a list because there are multiple fields and fields by fields i mean struct fields and you can ignore the backslash which is just let's us move to the next line so once we've opened this list using the square brackets we can specify our individual struct fields and then enter parent brackets and then specify the name and then the data type so we know we just need integer and we don't need long so i'm specifying a serial number and integer data type similarly once i put a comma and uh, the break character for the next uh, field i'm doing name and string type and for age i'm doing and for the next uh, field i'm doing age and integer type so that is saved to the schema and like we had previously done we just need to create a data frame uh using the list of tuples which holds the data and the schema which holds the struct type and the struct fields in this situation so when we 
now run and display this data frame you can see that we get the same data frame but now when we print the schema we have much more fine grained control over the data types and the schema of the columns so um, that's the basics of the struct type and struct field and if you want to get a little more advanced and we want to use it to create like nested columns and things like that uh, which is where the real power of uh, struct type and struct field comes in I've got a good example for you so here I've changed the list of tuples and I've done some nested tuples so as you can see in this first tuple I've added a nested tuple which holds first name and last name separately and I've done that for all the entries in this list so basically there's a uh, we have nested uh, the the name inside this uh, inside each field of data so how we then make this work is we have to first create a struct type for this nested tuple right or nested whatever nested data type you have if it's a list it's a list as well so we have to first create a struct type which holds uh, the structure of this in nested uh, data object so to do that we've created uh, a class uh, we've created an object called struct name which is of type class struct type and then inside that like previously we had done we specified two fields which is first name and last name of string type so basically this struct name is now an object of struct type which holds this first name and last name and then when we come to the main schema we can spec which is also again an object of struct type what we do is we specify at the uh, at the at the one at one step higher we specify all the fields that we have which will be the serial number this and uh, this entire uh, tuple of data will come under the name column and then so we can specify that as name and but the important thing is for the data type of that we need to specify it as struct name which is the struct type we had create object of struct type which we had created earlier so the data type will go and refer to this uh, struct name object uh, of struct type which has two fields first name and last name and the rest is similar age is no different and then we can create the data frame in a similar way so once so then when we run the data frame you can see that we get the same table but in the name column we have a tuple which basically holds the first name and the last name so and when we look at uh, this you, you could write this with a string as well just with double quotes but uh, if you want programming flexibility if you want to go in and be able to access just the first name and just the last name we need to do it like this without uh, with uh, struct type and struct field. So when I print the schema also this becomes clear to you. So you can see that under name we have in the next level of hierarchy we have first name and last name which are both of string type and this name is of the struct type right and yeah it's just to make it more clear you can also use the display data frame command and then it gives you uh, the data frame in this sort of graphical encapsulation where you can open up uh, the nesting and see each of the objects individually so you can see each name has a first name and last name and yeah that's how the struct type and struct field can be used uh, to create powerful uh, and complex columns like nested structures nested arrays and map columns so that's it for this video thank you guys for watching don't forget to like subscribe share comment and hit the bell icon and we'll see you in the next one